So I wanted to go for a long run today for my birthday, um, but the trails are all covered with snow, not very runnable, uh, kind of deep snow at times. So I decided to go for a walk instead. I don't know how far I'll walk. I've got some food, I've got some water. I threw in some, uh, some Pedialyte, I threw in some cheese and meat, but I'm not sure how far I'll go. Maybe five miles, maybe 10, maybe more, who knows. I just figured even though it's a little bit of a rainy day and a gray day when probably not many people are gonna be out, I still wanted to go out, do some walking, take some time to do some thinking about myself and my life and what I like about it and what, if anything, I want to change and what I want to do better. good education, I've got a good job, I own a house. By many metrics, I'm successful, I'm an adult. I'm making sure I don't have kids yet, but that's not any longer a requirement for being considered an adult. But I don't always feel like it. I know I've been around for three decades, but I don't feel significantly different from how I did as a kid. I know that I've matured, I know that I've learned a lot and I'm much more comfortable with myself and much more confident, but I still know that I'm the same person. I thought that being an adult would be a change to some different type of being, but I am the exact same person. I think that's something that adults perhaps should tell kids when they're younger. Adults all try to pretend that they know what's going on, that they know what they're doing, uh, confidence and, and that they have their life figured out. I think it would do a lot of kids good. Definitely would have done me a lot of good for an adult to tell me they don't actually know what they're doing. They're not 100% confident in their decisions. But I think I have to accept now really accept that I actually am an adult. I'm not going to become a different being. I'm not going to change dramatically. I'm going to change slowly and hopefully continually, but I'm not going to change dramatically. And this is who I am. So I stopped by the office, which was on my path to water a few plants and refill my water bottle. Now it's time to head back out. So I think I have to accept this. I'm an adult, I'm 32, and what do I want to be like? Who do I want to be? What, what success do I want? What do I want to change? I feel like I've been behind for a good bit of the last year or two. That's behind on work, behind on keeping up with people, behind on some personal paperwork things, registering my car. I feel like I've been behind for a long time and that is one of the big things I want to change. I want to organize myself and keep up with my to-do lists. I want to maintain a few more relationships. I want to keep exercising and if anything, exercise more regularly. I want to push myself more, get out in the mountains for long days by myself in the middle of nowhere. On the financial side of things, I don't actually need to change or feel like I want to change all that much. I want to think about and stress about the stock market less but also focus more attention on making sure that things that I buy, making sure money I spend is not for the sake of spending it, for the sake of acquiring something trendy or new, but is more for buying things that I'm gonna use, things that are gonna make my life better, things that are gonna make me more happy.
I want to invest more time in my relationship, more dedicated, focused, intentional time with her, focusing on her, working on and talking about our relationship. But at the same time, I want to spend a lot more time by myself, completely alone, either at the house or out walking like this, out thinking or out in the woods running. And that is vital for my own peace of mind, my own sanity. I want to, no, I need to do more things like this, getting outside by myself, walking into the woods, backyard adventures that don't take a lot of gas, they happen, they don't take a lot of transportation time, things that you can walk to, ride your bike to, do from work, from the office, or, or a short drive, but things that you can do without tons of preparation and time, things you could do on a weekend, in a single day, or even adventures that are just a few hours on a, on a work week. What I want to do is create a lifestyle that I don't need a vacation from. So I have done a great job in the past going for runs in the evenings after work and taking weekends to go on hikes, go to dance weekends. I feel like the last year I've sort of fallen off that and I really need to get back to it. I want to maintain a life where vacations are special events, not escapes. The reason I work for my job is because I like it. So I really like my engineering job. It is very engaging. I'm well compensated. It's somewhat flexible. Um, what I like, I like the people I work with. What I like is almost a mental stress. It's this intensity of engagement, of mental engagement, of solving problems, of remembering all the relevant details, of synthesizing data, of organizing details. I really, really like it. There's this mental exertion and intensity, which is extraordinarily engaging and stimulating. It makes me feel alive. It makes me feel like I'm doing something useful and I love it. But, it's also very easy for that to drift over into unhealthy stress, into anxiety that's keeping you from sleep, into being overwhelmed with deadlines and, and things where you can't do quality work to a point where you are pri prioritizing your job over your own mental and physical health, where you're prioritizing your job over your relationships with people that matter to you. And that line is easy to cross when you're already so close to it with a healthy intensity and stress, which is the part of the engineering job I love. It's so easy to be close and cross over into unhealthy. And I think it's basically impossible not to at times and also standard to cross that line. So I guess some would say very simply what I'm talking about is work-life balance. And that's not untrue but I feel like that doesn't quite capture it. I'm not looking for a healthy balance between these two separate entities, one that I like and enjoy, uh, and the other that I dislike and I do because I have to. What I'm looking for is work that is my life. It's the difference between a vocation and an avocation. If I have a job where I am constantly thinking work-life balance, that may be a sign to me that I have a job, that I need to make changes at my job. My job, I need to find a different one or remember to maintain my job as my life. This is my life. I've spent so much time there. It can't be something other than my life. My family life, my home life is also my life and I need to spend time on that my own personal time engaging with myself is my life but 
my job needs to be my life. I have enough education and enough experience where I have the ability, I just need to have the confidence. I have the ability, I just need to have the confidence to make sure I maintain my job as one more healthy aspect of my life. Not something to balance with my life. What I need is it to be all aspects of my life are beneficial, are uh, nourishing, are engaging, 